Hello everybody, this is Mark. We're working on Dutch boxes today. Um, I was trying to get film on my phone and I have to handle the phone and handle the dogs. It's almost impossible. So right now I've got this my camera set up. We're going to bring Maury in, I'll put him on the down and then we'll go ahead and get him to find it. It's only in one box. Right now it's in the box without any ball in it. Um, the indicator for him is no and void. He'll just sniff until he finds it. He's going to sit when he finds it and he'll come back to me for the reward. So he'll probably come off the screen to go lunging after his reward. Um, he's, the game is basically you find it, you sit for your indicator, and then you get a reward, and that reward is back to me. You don't want a bomb dog going, uh, touching it and going after the, the area of the, uh, of the bomb. So we've taught him to actually break away from it. So let me go get him. And we have sodium chloride is what we have out, which is in a material that's made for bond making material. Yes! Come on! And that was his indicator that it was in that box without the ball, as I said. So he's heavy on all the other boxes because he's used to wanting his ball, which is what we want. And we will start to keep doing that. And what I really need, unfortunately, is the second person. We should have somebody back there to stimulate him with the ball and start moving the ball and doing things. Just caught out of the screen. I see. I see. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Out. Good. And he's high on this game like you wouldn't believe. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, come on. Come on, get in there. If I was to rate the dogs proficiency, I would say it was high to excellent in this game of finding explosives. He was very good. Um, with high finds, doesn't matter. He'll search up, search down. A lot of potential with this animal. I'm going to go ahead and move the box. Um, let's go ahead and move just one over this time. I've been moving it almost to the end and then in the middle. And... Move it here. The idea behind these boxes is that you're supposed to stimulate them with ball movement so that he ends up learning to ignore any stimulation, only the smell. You take away his sight because he can see the ball. You take away the movement and the sound, you can hear the ball, and he wants to have that. So after a while, he starts to learn. The only place he gets a reward is when he keys in on the smell. And the smell will be associated only with one box. So right now, again, here it is in this box. So let me go get him. And And again, his indicator is to sit. You'll see him sit when he finds the other. I see. Good boy. Kusha. Good. Good. Find it. Is that it? I see. Yes. Good boy. Good. And I should have probably even asked him if that was it because he had already told me about the city. I see. box one more time just to prove that we do have a out dog that's doing his job. Come on, good boy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Most of this stuff takes two people because you have to have the one person that's called the trainer, basically the person that's in the back of these boxes, and then the other one. So now we're going to go ahead and move it all the way down to number one, down here at the end. There. We don't have to start with that. Just to be sure, I'm going to touch every one of these bars because that way he has equal to everything with my smell. And that's the only place I've been touching it is on my floor I pick up the box. So right now, let be that my smell will be on all of them. And again, it is in 
this box at the very end. And you guys got a good view so you can see this. side because we've been starting from that side the whole time. So this time we're going to start from here and I'm going to present and start it actually. I see. Good. Yes. Good boy. <laughs> Good week. Good. Nice indications. He doesn't lock up on the scent itself, which is what a lot of people want. They want the dog to actually stare at that smell. That so source of odor, he actually sits and spins around. But with training and work, we can get him to actually lock up and do that. And that's a lot of what these boxes are all about. Out, I see. Good. Push it. Okay. Push it. Good. So that he ends up actually staring at the odor and getting it the closest source to the odor. Nope. Now he's going back to another pass and we'll let him do it. Yes! Good! <laughs> and we're done. Alright, so that's a little demo of him doing some of the set work and how he indicates. I see. Couche. And believe me, out. Out. He is very good at this game. He can come into the room and. Alright, good one. Good. Alright, pull him off the list and go take that smile out of there. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. And get rid of the smell. And then we'll tell him he's done. I'm just going to take the smell out of the box that was in, which was here on the end. And it's marked explosive. That's how I know. And I will take that out of the back of the box and put it away. I know it's a little bit long and probably broken up, but we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.